Tom Hobson at Rockwell Collins, and I handle our public affairs. We're Iowa's second largest manufacturing employer and number one technology company with over uh, nearly 6,000 engineers and scientists. And uh, our business is communications and uh, electronics for the aviation and uh, both commercial and uh, government business. What we look for, especially in new employees uh, coming into uh, Rockwell Collins, uh, especially from our Iowa uh, education system, is students who bring to us three traits in three categories. Uh, we lead them to have good, good innovative thinkers. We need them to be communicators, effective communications, and we need them to be team players. Now, while we'll recruit primarily from Iowa, we also have to uh, recruit uh, across the globe, bringing in talent from each uh, market area that we're going to enter into, because they're going to bring that diverse talent to, to our workforce that's going to enable us to gain that customer focus uh, across the globe. Uh, we're competing uh, with our products going into Boeing aircraft that get sold to uh, airlines that fly around the world, and we're uh, exporting into um, foreign countries, China, Brazil, much less those in Europe and the Mideast. And a growing market is also India. Rockwell Collins has been a partner with education for several decades. And one thing we've learned in this experience during that time is that all of the learning isn't just in the classroom and from seat time and out of the textbook. A lot of it, and the most beneficial to young learners, is creative learning uh, hands-on, project-based, and one other type is even self-taught in some of the virtual reality classes and courses that we now are helping launch in schools throughout the state. Being a technology company, Rockwell Collins obviously is geared toward the pipeline for STEM education, or science, technology, engineering, and math subjects. And we do focus on STEM and curriculums because uh, not only is it about our business and reinforcing uh, for our employees a commitment to their children, but we believe we know that this has to be done in order to keep both our company, the state, and the nation competitive. These skills are going to be crucial because while we have to raise the, the requirements so that a, a student gets comparable education whether they're in an urban area with a broader curriculum or the same topic and subjects being caught in a rural school. Many of the kids in a rural or inner city school may not have the same advantages of the curriculum that others get, but they, when they're introduced to STEM, there is a sense of, of, of aspiration that you don't see when the, because they've never been introduced to it. And this is remarkable, especially in the ability then to, to, to get the excitement built up when they can get hands-on involvement in these projects that they do themselves. While there's a real emphasis to have our children go on to college and get their degrees, um, there's equally as important is keeping those that are going to stay here. We shouldn't be afraid of educating our children, uh, whether they, they go some to another state or they stay here. One thing that we're going to have to face in Iowa is that our state is changing, just as the United States is changing. Our demographics are changing, and we're going to have to uh, step up and address the needs of those students and that population groups 
that are going to be increasing uh, their role and their influence in our society and our economics. And we must see that they too are, uh, their needs are met so that we can progress.